Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the, what is it? I don't even know. Uh, six, right around the six. Happy full moon. What do we have around the six, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? You know, it's going to scare somebody, but and you know, this may be a scary situation. I see the tower. The tower is a shock, explosion, some sort of life change, an internal disruption. There could be an accident. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that is what I instantly saw was the tower. So I think there's going to be uh, something that happens. You know, a tower is a necessary evil. It is. It's a necessary evil. It's where something collapses or falls down or falls apart that is meant to. It's not stable. It's not sturdy. It's no longer able to keep itself up. Uh, you can't keep it up. It's a facade. It's, it, it's over. Okay. And it's time to start over. It's time to start with a clean slate. So usually it happens uh, suddenly. Uh, it's a sudden shock or a sudden disruption. Something comes in all of a sudden and and wapes at wapes something out it's a, it's like a major life change okay that you never saw coming you never saw it coming so the tower is something that happens all of a sudden uh, that causes um, turmoil of some sort because it's not easy it's definitely not an easy situation to encounter it's a it's a fated event okay so we are, we are about to experience a fated event that changes a circumstance uh, yeah. Five of Wands reversed. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of competition. But this is uh, the end of the competition. The end of the conflict. And that's what needs to happen. It needs to happen. Eight of Swords. Somebody has been in a state of confinement. They've been staying in their safety zone. They've been um, probably ignoring some truths. You know, wearing a blindfold. Refusing to see the truth. Um maybe even being tied down by another person, you know, feeling very mentally um, confused. Somebody's been in a state of confusion, uh, stuck in a situation that was safe, but it really wasn't healthy for them. So somebody was in an unhealthy situation that was dark and gray, but they were refusing to step out of it because it was safe. You know, and it was causing a lot of conflict. There was a lot, there's been a lot of fighting going on. Okay. There's been a lot of fighting, but choosing to stay in this situation because it's scary to step outside. It's scary to go someplace else. It is, it is. So Ace of Pentacles. Now we have a new opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody is being given the opportunity uh, the next day or so or whenever this resonates for you there be this is being given a golden opportunity uh, this is this has potential potential for something solid something stable something secure this is also something very real it's a reality check of some sort this is a new solid opportunity uh, is being given to somebody maybe somebody was needing the uh, money or they were needing a hand somebody may because you notice it's in a hand somebody may be given a hand that breaks them free from this situation that was holding them back somebody was being held back by fear that's what this is while they were being held back there was a lot of fighting there was a lot of competition there was a lot of back and forth it was constant power struggle it was depleting them as well. They were. It was depleting their health. Their health was declining, staying in this situation, having to fight all the time. Now they're being given a hand. Okay, they're being given a hand. Uh, this is this is like a new opportunity. It's like a new opportunity opening up. Five of Cups. Now there's probably going to be a separation, an opportunity to separate because this is a separation to leave the hurt behind to focus on something new because this is a new opportunity and there's a new opportunity right here. So somebody is being given a new opportunity to leave a uh, painful situation behind. This could also be, it feels like there's somebody realizing that there's a better opportunity. I don't need to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay here in this mo anymore in this, this situation. It's just too dark. It's too gray. It's like sensing that the grass is greener on the other side 
we have a person this is a this is the five of cups is about a separation mourning sadness grieving so there could be a loss here there's been some deep sorrow somebody has been focusing on the past blaming themselves blaming themselves for the conflict when it's not really their fault i don't think it is nine of cups reversed very dissatisfied we have somebody here that is very dissatisfied with their current uh, situation that they are stuck in they're not happy any there anymore they're ready you notice you notice in this five of cups she's looking forward Okay, this person is looking forward instead of focusing on the past, focusing on the pain. We have an individual that has decided to, to move on, move on from something that is hurting them. Okay, that's what we have. They're deciding to take the opportunity that somebody is giving them. Somebody is giving them a hand. They're making, giving them an offer. They're saying, I can help you. Come with me, that kind of thing. Now, the Nine of Cups reversed is... Deep fulfillment is coming. It's coming. There's been a lack of wish fulfillment. There's been a lack of abundance. There's been a lack of happiness staying in this uncomfortable situation. This person is now ready to face forward. Five of swords reversed. So five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Something There's going to be a major life change. And what is the tower? A major life change. So expect a major let go of the old and bring in the new. This is this is a conflict that comes about, which we have right here. It starts with a conflict. There's a conflict that brings about a massive change because the tower is a massive change. Okay, it it's, it could be very emotional. Okay, because of the Nine of Cups reverse, it could be very, very extremely emotional. Somebody has been stuck in a situation that is very uncomfortable for quite some time now they're being given an opportunity to focus on the future and stop proving themselves i don't want to prove myself anymore i just want to be happy i am sick of the fighting i'm done fighting i mean the five of swords is all about looking out for number one a constant battle wanting to win at all costs needing to prove themselves there's been some sort of be betrayal but this is this is um, probably there's been a hostile situation. Maybe there's crime being exposed. Something is being exposed. Like, this could even be like an all-out war with the Five of Swords reversed. It's definitely a hostile situation that somebody is turning their back on. It feels like they're deciding to go down a new path. I am truly done fighting. Now, the Five of Swords next to the Five of Cups, there could be definite mourning. The Five of Swords reversed. These are both cards of mourning over a loss. So I'm not sure if somebody is what's happening, but we know what mourning means. So there, there could be some deep sadness or deep sorrow over a loss because somebody decides to uh, go in a different direction by the looks of things. That's what it, that's it's like because if you think about the five of wands in another deck, they're playing tug of war. Somebody's letting go. I'm not in, I'm not engaging in this war anymore, and it's been an all out war. So I think this war is ending. Okay, that's what I feel like. This is is happening. A war is ending because somebody's deciding to turn their back on it. They're deciding to not engage in it. They're, it's not making them happy. It's not fulfilling them. Judgment reverse. Somebody made a poor decision. They made a poor decision. They were unaware. They were not awakened. And health has been declining. They may be even feeling ashamed or feeling guilty. But but this is moving on from a bad choice. Somebody made a very bad choice. They didn't answer the higher call. They didn't listen to anybody's advice. Now they're subject to trial. They may be under trial. There's been some lies. There's been a lot of deception. There's been a lot of betrayal. And I feel like this is bad karma. Okay, this is a card of karma. It is reversed. There's no chance of reconciliation. There's no resolution in sight. Okay, so it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to walk away from this struggle. It's t I, I can't do it anymore. You, you want to fight all the time. You want to continue to battle. You do it by yourself. I just want to be happy. That's what I see. I think we have somebody that is moving on from a bad choice. They've, they've tried. They've tried. They've been playing the game. They've been, you know, on the other end of that rope and they've been uh, stuck in this situation for quite some time. Um, two of pentacles reversed. This is no contingency plan. 
very overwhelmed. Uh, somebody has taken on too much. They have bitten off more than they can chew. And now things are very chaotic. It's, a, it's just a big uh, chaotic mess. So I feel like uh, there's, there's somebody could trip. They could fall. Um, moon card with the full moon. I'm recording this on the full moon. So this has to do with the moon. Uh, all is not as it seems. The path is unclear. Somebody is wearing a disguise. You need to proceed with caution. All is not as it seems. We have a liar here and you need to look a little bit deeper. Somebody needs to look a little bit deeper. This person, we have an individual that isn't telling the truth. They are hiding their true selves. We have an unawakened individual here who has made a, or is making a bad choice. Or has made a bad choice. This is lack of abundance. Lack of happiness. A golden opportunity for stability. Somebody, uh, is stuck or trapped. But I feel like they, with this two of pentacles, this is like dropping. This is lacking balance. We have an individual who has no contingency plan. They have no... Uh, stability. They're not very stable. They're losing. I saw the tower. They're unstable. They're insecure. So there's instability here. We could have even some mental health problems. Somebody may have some mental health problems. We could even have a pathological liar. Okay. This person may appear to be abundant. Now, this is doing too much. Somebody may go overboard. They may go overboard. Justice reversed. Oh, my God. Now we have justice and judgment both reversed. That is bad karma. Somebody is getting some bad karma. This is bad karma. It is. It's not good. This is not happy with the outcome, placing blame in an argument. When we definitely have an argument with no resolution in sight. There's a definite imbalance here as well. We could have somebody here that is mentally, mentally unbalanced. And they will do anything to win. But I think we have an individual that is turning their back on that person. I just want to be happy. I am not going to fight with you. We have a person that likes to fight, that likes to place blame, that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions in any way, shape, or form. This is a, this is a liar. This person lies and lies and lies and lies. And this person lies because... Uh, they don't want people to know who they really are. Why is this happening? This is the star reversed. Why, 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 why? And this is like, okay, we got the nine of cups reversed underneath it and the star right on top. So this is a shattered dreams. No offense or anything. Um, not trying to be mean, but... No wish fulfillment. Why is this happening? I did. This is not what I. This is not what I expected. Somebody may be asking those questions. Why is this happening? It's happening because there's too much conflict. There's 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 a lack of compatibility. The, the struggle has been real, and this struggle needs to end. So that's why this is happening. The tower is a universe card, major universe card. So it's like the universe is causing some sort of upheaval to force change and this is big 
big, 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 big. So this is this is chaos. It is extreme, extremely chaotic. And maybe it's the riots. I don't know. But this is no legal. This is no resolution in sight with the judgment and the justice card reversed. This is something not going in their favor. Not wanting to be held accountable, um, which could cause a war. Somebody, you know. It's like a war kind of situation, but this is a golden opportunity. It's a golden opportunity to turn your back and walk away. You have an opportunity to turn your back and walk away from this situation. I mean, usually this is the hand of God saying, here, I got this opportunity for you to go down this new path. But you have to turn your back on the sad situation, the, the sorrow. There's mourning, yes. There's mourning over a loss. We know that there is. So, this is a separation. We have a separation here. We have an individual that has no morals and has no conscience that has caused a lot of chaos or a group of people. There's probably going to be multiple arrests. Not trying to scare anybody. Somebody's definitely lying. Not heeding a warning at all. No conscience for the law. You know, the law is like a no, doesn't, no liability, right? Or no, what do you want? What's the word for it? No care about the law. Um, we also have a prejudice here with these two cards. Somebody is very prejudiced. Oh, well, there we go. That's what we got. We got a prejudice, which is causing conflict. So I think over the next day, I mean, the star card reversed is fear takes over. There's illness here as well, all over in this reading. And there's feeling ashamed, somebody being ashamed. So, are being shamed. So anyway, I feel like we, we have somebody being given an opportunity to walk away from something. Will they take it? Will they take it? The high priestess. The high priestess. The high priestess is, knows, follows her intuition. Is very wise. A very wise, deep feeling. Time alone. Reflective. Taking time to reflect on the situation. Somebody's going to be reala realizing their goals. This is, a get put, this is putting people into a state of awakening. So we have a high priestess here. Now, a high priestess can be a male or a female. This is an individual that does go their own way. That listens to their gut and their intuition. And decides to turn their back on the fighting. So... This could be a spiritual mentor or a healer of some sort that helps to heal a situation. deciding to go within we have somebody here that is deciding to go within and to go their own way to depart from the chaos so this could be i mean even the five of swords could, these cards can go so many ways could be the end of the war right could go either way it could be extremely warlike or it could be the war ending i'm done fighting I'm going, this is a very self-sufficient individual who uh, goes their own way, listens to their gut, takes it all in, and departs. Okay, I, I'm good. I'm out. So this is the page of wands. This is good news arriving. 
somebody is going to be brave enough to turn their back. They're going to be traveling in a new direction. They're going to replace that fear and they're going in a new direction. So somebody is, is leaving. Somebody is leaving this dreadful situation behind and they're, they're going their own way. But this is a why, 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 why is this happening? Something is crumbling, okay, because I saw that tower. Something is crumbling. And I think that yeah, it starts with a fight or the war or whatever it is. It's, it's, it, the, the foundation is crumbling, okay? But this is, this is putting, it has something to do with an awakening. This is all happening for a reason, okay? This is why is this happening? It is happening for a reason. There are hidden forces here with the moon card. There is definitely a reason for this that will be shown. This It will be shown, okay? Right now, it may be below the surface. You may not see why this is happening, but it is happening for a reason because it's time to rebuild a new, maybe it's a new government. You think about the tower card. Maybe it's time to rebuild a new structure. Maybe it's time to rebuild a new um, foundation. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe it's a family legacy. Maybe it's time to start over, you know. Something is going on here where it's like the, the, the things switch. They're changing. They're changing hands. Somebody is, is, is being given a new opportunity that comes in a destructive manner, unfortunately. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead and somebody is Giving up, I think. Giving up on the fight. They find their strength and their courage to stop focusing on the pain and go within. So this could be the end coming up. The end of the, the fighting. Somebody's leaving. That's what I see. There's, there's definitely, and I see, and I know that I say there's, there's, there's a, no resolution in sight. That's where we've been. It's been extremely chaotic. And this doesn't have to be war riots. It doesn't have to be war. It could be within a family situation. The first card, extreme uh, bickering, fighting, which has kept, somebody has been trapped. It's caused a lot of mental turmoil. But now they have an opportunity to break free and to focus on something else. And I think that they're going to do it. Love. Ace of Cups. This is like heaven. This is a new start in love. Things are going to get better. Things are about to get better. But before they get better, there's going to be some a little bit more upheaval. But I think it's going to be massive. So there's, it's a massive explosion. I'm sorry. That probably ends it. Ends the uh, fighting and uh, uh, leads us into a better place. Things are about to get better. Good luck.